Okay, if you are new here, first, welcome. Second, we are building this magnificent craft. But before we could effortlessly glide through water propelled solely by one of Mama's nature free resources, we needed to first actually finish it. Which brings us to day number 6 of the build. We started the day with trying to get all the itchy grinding and cutting out of the way. Now, for warning, at this point we were literally and figuratively itching to finish and go sailing, so the footage reflects that a bit. First, we drew and cut out the Vakadek pieces. Speaking of missing footage, somewhere in the meantime we glued in the additional deck supports. We double checked if the pieces fit. We determined that it's good enough and Bartek finished up the cutting and proceeded to grind them to prep them for the gluing and fiberglassing. After the decks were ready, we filled the bows. Varnish the wood pieces and glued in the backing plate for the outboard. And in the AMA, we tapped in beam supports. And while we were doing all that, Bartek learned a magic trick. Show the magic trick. <laughs> the next day, all the polyester had plenty of time to cure, so we, and by we I mean Bartek, started by grinding AMA in preparation for final fiber glassing. on to the vaca. One of the many cool things about Sheila's workshop are all the earthlings that come to visit. While Bartek took care of the surface prep, I started to cut all the fiberglass pieces. Next up, the missing pieces of the Vaca Baus. 
I don't really know how to name these things, but the reason they were missing on one side of each bow was fiberglass sheet usage optimization. We both screwed and glued them in. After that was done, we proceeded to glue in the decks and prep the fillets to fiberglass them in. We didn't film the process of gluing in the decks of the Vaca, but we are repeating pretty much the same process here on the Yama. I know this might look like we have absolutely no idea what we are doing, but it's just for a bit of support and mostly so the deck doesn't move during the prep of the corners and later fiberglassing. Our previous boat, Desperado, was a Pearson 10M and it had plenty of places that looked like this. Did we mention it's not a how-to video? <laughs> After some final touch-ups, we left everything to cure overnight, packed up and headed home. Next day, we had a bit of a late start due to heavy rain, which also showed us that we have a leaky window. A bit of a letdown looking that they are fiberglass over to prevent exactly this, but it would have to wait for some other day.
after arriving in the marina and verifying that everything kicked in quite nicely, it was onto the final prep, which involved grinding of all the squeeze out. While Bartek was taking care of that, I continued to prep all the fiberglass pieces we would need. Then it was finally time to lay it up. We started with the Vaca noses, also testing our new reusable brush, which turned out to work quite nicely and will help us to reduce the amount of trash we produce anytime we work with fiberglass. With that left to cure, we refocused on the AMA once again. Trzymasze. Przykleił się. After unwrapping it and admiring some local critters, we realized it was a bit late to start the fiberglassing session, so instead we took care of the fillets underneath the wooden supports in the vaca and called it a day. Next day, we came in determined to finish all the fiberglassing, so while Bartek jumped into, you guessed it, grinding, I cut the last of the fiberglass pieces. With everything prepped, it was go time. And right here, there should be a really nice time lapse of us doing the vaca. But let's just say that Xiaomi developers and I have a bit of a difference of opinion on what constitutes an intuitive user interface. So unfortunately, it was accidentally deleted and this is all we've got. But we did have better luck with the Yama. So let's play some music and get things done.
now have what could easily be described as an obsession with minimizing the amount of trash we produce, which might or might not demand some psychotherapy, but nevertheless is a fun challenge. And so we try to arrange the way we work around it. So for example, like here, we split the task and instead of us using two rollers, Bartek is using one while I keep track of the fiberglass pieces and mix the resin, which actually makes for a smoother process for us. If you have any cool tips on how you minimize your trash when working with fiberglass, please leave us a comment. We are always eager to level up. While Bartek was finishing the ammo, I added cover layer of polyester to the vaca bottom to smooth it out and hopefully still get a chemical bond as our fiberglass job was still curing. And so a long, half-undocumented fiberglassing day came to an end. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one, where we actually splash it. By the way, it's Bartek's birthday today, so if you feel so inclined, a wish in the comments or a simple like would be really nice.